सो वॉट इज़ गुड गाइज अदनान हेयर एंड आउट ऑफ नो वेयर हैज़ द ब्रांड न्यू लिनिया जो एस सिक्सटीन बीन ड्रॉप फॉर अ कपल ऑफ डिवाइज इंक्लूडिंग द वन प्लस फाइव दैट आई ओन सो आई फ्लैश डेट एंड हेयर्स एवरी थिंग यू नीड टू नो अबाउट इट Before we begin if you scroll down not too far on my channel you'll see a similar early overview video that I did for Lineage OS 15 a year ago and I never really got about making a proper review for that because the rom was frustrating to deal with from the first day itself I had complaints about how Lineage started departing from Google's own services in favor of very questionable alternatives and this time seems to be no different Lineage OS 16 still follows the same we are independent of Google philosophy which actually is absolutely fine but just try building a usable camera app please The ugly outdated snap camera is just pathetic and I quickly replaced it with the latest Google camera that I found on the Play Store because literally anything is better than the app that comes bundled with the ROM. Proceeding with the installation and during the first time setup I was hunting for any new intuitive features that may have been brought about this year but seems like Lineage is sticking strong to their guns offering basically a very stock experience the only notable customizable features you get are the theming and color options allowing you to go full amulet black with an accent color you like the most these are obviously not enough options to throw Lineage OS as something customization nerds should invest their time into but then again Lineage or even Cyanogen never intended to offer over the board features with their promises and this is all they give and all they give is something that i have and will appreciate for a long time indeed switching to performance in my little time with the rom it's been an a plus i remember vividly the frustrating frame drops i encountered with the initial lineage os 15 builds last year but this is smooth as butter not smooth as oxygen os but still smooth as butter apps load instantaneously ram management seems to have improved quite a lot and the stability is something that wouldn't hint this being a custom rom per se Battery life too in the one day I've used this ROM seemed great and since this is a OnePlus device dash charging still impresses me to this date and that's now available on this ROM as well. Let's talk about a few things that I do wholeheartedly appreciate about the ROM though. And the first is the amount of display presets that the ROM gives you by default. You can choose between a wide array of presets ranging from the muted sRGB all the way up to the saturated Oxygen OS one. I also still appreciate the touch screen gesture options which now brings space for even more actions with even more gestures. I also noticed the time for the action itself to be executed is now significantly faster, even faster than Oxygen OS I would say. There's still three different ways you can navigate about the UI and this is what I love about Lineage OS. Yes, it is in its purest form a carbon copy of stock AOSP, but it does not scrape away from older features like we see Google doing in its Pixel project every single year. The sheer reminiscence is enough for me to keep using this ROM. Now that doesn't mean this very first build shies out of its caveats. The stock Trebuchet launcher, while good, leaves a lot to be desired. The dark mode doesn't even affect the launcher and the app drawer which I consider as an integral part of the system and that's probably because nothing in this rom is made from a unified source and that's the integral fault with lineage as it stands the source code comes from AOSP while the design is its own the camera is probably some old discarded snap camera apk package while the launcher comes from trebuchet The longer you use this ROM is the more you realize just how much of an incomplete package this is. However, I'm willing to bet things are going to get better with time or at least I hope they do. Lineage OS 16 in its nightly form did impress me quite a lot this time around and I can't wait to revisit it later for a full review. If you guys have any queries about the same, I'll be hanging around in the comment section below. That's been it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.